Hey guys, this is Brent with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you how to wire these two dual 4 ohm subs in parallel to equal a 1 ohm final impedance. Alright guys, so here we have our MVX uh, VCW104s which are a dual voice coil subwoofer at 4 ohms per coil. And one way to be able to tell that, you'll see two sets of terminals, one on each side of the actual basket. Now I prefer to actually test the impedance prior to wiring up the woofers just to verify that I do have the correct impedance or resting impedance per coil. And in order to do so, we're basically going to take our multimeter, put our setting on the ohm setting or the impedance setting, as you see what I just did here, and we're going to go ahead and measure with our test leads. Now, before you measure the impedance of the woofer, make sure that you have the woofer on a flat surface with the cone facing the sky, because if we do not have the cone facing the sky and we try to measure the impedance, it will constantly fluctuate. I'm going to go ahead and hook up one coil here. Now it does not matter which one goes to positive or negative on the test leads. And you'll see here that the impedance of each coil is 4.0. Perfect. So we're now ready to wire up our subwoofers here. And you'll notice I got some speaker wire on the table. We actually have a set of four jumpers. Two are going to be positive, which today we're going to be utilizing the blue wire for positive jumper. We have two of the negative gray. So the color is going to be gray for negative on our subwoofer. And we also have a, another jumper that's going to go in between the two subs to parallel them together within the box. So let's go ahead and get started here. First, we're going to go ahead and start connecting all positives and all negatives together. So positives are going to go with positives, as you see here. Negative, we have our little jumper to parallel the two woofers in between. So we're just going to go ahead and twist the positive with the positive. Insert it into voice coil number two. We have a negative jumper, which is also going to go with negative on voice coil number two. Okay. Once we've done that, we have our jumper. We also have two extra positive and negative jumpers here. So what we're just going to do is actually join up the positive and positive, negative with negative, and now attach that to our other voice coil on our number two subwoofer. So we got positive going to positive, negative going to negative. Now we have two leftover wires, basically jumpers. We got one going to positive terminal on the last voice coil and negative going to the last uh, negative on the last voice coil as well. Let's bring these around. Now this set of wires right here is going to go to your box terminal on the inside of your enclosure from the box terminal to the outputs of your monoblock amplifier. So all we're going to do is join up our last negatives and our last positives. Go ahead and swing that around here. All right, so we've just successfully wired our dual 4 ohm subs in parallel to equal a final 1 ohm impedance. Now, with parallel wiring option, you just have to remember you're connecting all negatives together and then all positives together to each coil. So once we've wired our woofers in parallel, it's now time to double check our work and verify that we have a final 1 ohm impedance. Now, mind you, with the meter, uh, we want to go ahead and make sure that we do put it on the ohm setting or the resistance setting to measure the impedance of these two woofers wired in parallel. Also, it does not matter which leads go to which on the positive or negative from the meter to the subwoofer. So we're going to go ahead and attach our leads here real quick. And we'll notice that we have a final impedance of 1 ohm. Perfect. Now, it may fluctuate, as you saw there on the meter, maybe between 1.1 and 1.2. It does not matter. 0 0.1, 0 0.2 off is letting us know that we have a final impedance of 1 ohms. It's going to stabilize. So again, that's how you wire your dual 4 ohm subs in parallel to equal a 1 ohm final impedance. I'm Brandon with Sonic Electronics, your source for everything car audio.